Hi, so today I will be showing you a quick oil painting sketch of this rose that I painted a while back. It is one of the pieces from my collection Childhood Fragrances that I did earlier this year. It was a lot of fun painting this and, uh, and how it turned out beautifully. The structure is looking a little off right now but I promise that it will make a lot more sense in some time. So initially I was really skeptical about working with the white because I thought that you know white would not be that visible or it would not look that good but uh, after painting a few roses in the white shade I realized that it really pops out when you put in the darker shades around the whites and it really looks beautiful and I have uh, turned towards painting more and more lighter shades because they are they really bring me the peace and the calmness uh, here I have started putting in the blues across the whites so we have started working Working with the cooler tones first here blue color really is uh, very serene and it really brings out the calmness and it really brings out the stability blues in general are liked by many and uh, I also like really like it very much and uh, when you mix it with white you can see that there are many shades of blues that you can actually get by mixing it with different amount amounts of whites and i'm just putting in the blue with the whites and mixing them slowly directly <laughs> i tend to mix directly uh, but uh, you can also uh, mix it on a palette and then use it and uh, yeah that uh, works well as well so after the blue, uh, we will start putting in the warmer, warmer shades that are the reds and the oranges. So while you're working with the warm and the cool tones, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that uh, not mixing the both because uh, um, mixing the warm and the cool tones together may end up uh, giving you some grey shades and we definitely don't want the grey uh, shades on the flower right. So yeah, now uh, we put in the orange shade and we lighten go towards the lighter side from darker side towards the lighter side and that would really uh, help you in the painting whenever you are painting from the darker shades to the lighter shades and it helps you in mixing and also uh, it is way easier uh, than starting from lighter to the darker because it becomes difficult to wash away the brush and all of those things so yeah and then we come to the central part of the rose uh, which has the main dark red tint to it and we start from the we start painting the central part I don't usually work uh, with oils on paper but whenever I do I always am happy with how they turn out uh, you can just put a layer of gesso and then the paper would be ready to be oil painted I have painted this uh, same rose twice and it was everyone's favorite and this one is uh, with uh, one of my really close friends who is also an artist and it's in Canada and I really love how she has framed it I'll also put a little picture of the frame painting on the side of this video so that you can see how lovely it looks uh, the visibility of the whites increases more and more when it is around the darker shade so I decided uh, to paint the background dark as well um, so right now you can see that uh, the central part the mid part of the flower how that has made the entire flower look more realistic look more beautiful so you need to keep uh, in mind that the central part which is inside inside the inside of the flower that has to be dark and the petals and all can be of the lightest shade and then it will make the flower look more realistic and look more beautiful i feel that oil painting in general can make uh, the entire thing look more realistic more towards realism i don't do uh, the extreme realism but yeah i do enjoy the realism part of the oil paintings that it can bring out 
so yeah that's why i love oil paints because <laughs> you can work with layers you can work as patiently as you want many would say that uh, they do not have the patience to work with oil colors um yeah so that can be a problem but i like to work with patiently with my pieces uh they have been quite a few times when i was um, rushing into a piece and that didn't turn out well for me so for me i would need patience and i would like to take my time to put in all the colors and put in the things that i like uh, also if you want to know about the reference picture that i used for this i got it from unsplash it is uh, an app and they also have a website and you get all the royalty free you know, reference images that you want for painting and i really love um, the vast variety of references that they have so yeah you can also try one of the flowers from their references and yeah i love them i'll just uh, link it down below in the description so that you can check and yeah they have a uh, collab with the uh, square space or their off the square space we yeah, are something like that so yeah and now i guess uh, we are towards the end of the painting and i chose uh, the darker background because uh, that will pop the flower more so a uh, dark green velvety background look perfect for this flower and uh, she just looked so beautiful and this was the second time i was painting this rose and i was so so happy with it because uh, this time as well it um, turned out beautifully and i might even paint it a few more times to see how it goes and how people would like it because yeah um, why not uh, if you like something just paint it again and again if it is not with you and you start missing it so yeah i kind of am missing this piece right now while i'm recording this so yeah i might paint it again and um, yeah you all can let me know how you think you found this a little orangey and blue and white and all of those multiple shades and still the flower look so pretty uh, so yeah and uh, by this uh, let's uh, move towards the background let's paint the background dark i love painting the backgrounds dark most of my pieces would have the darker backgrounds so when if you see ever in future uh, flowers with the dark ba backgrounds just remember that uh, it might it might be one of my pieces and so yeah that is my signature style and that is how i'm trying to develop my style with the dark backgrounds and the lighter roses lighter flowers and not only roses i love all the flowers i really love the nature and everything related to it is my favorite and i might paint uh, the entire nature one day yeah that is the goal <laughs> so yeah also if you uh, have watched the video till now then do consider liking the video and sharing with someone who loves art who would like to watch these kind of videos and also do subscribe to my channel because that would help me in putting up more new videos making more fun videos and i promise i would try and make more fun videos and more time lapses for you all because i love creating time lapses and i love keep putting them on instagram i keep putting them here um, on my laptops and here there and uh, yeah i really enjoy making them uh, so if you are on instagram you can also connect with me there and you can also check my shop all the links would be there in the description and i would love you to 